This is Sean with Gate City. I'm on an assessment today and look at what we got going on here. So we have the homeowners recently had all this landscaping work done. Look at all this beautiful landscaping. And they've got some major, major issues. The sunroom right here is continually flooding. And so let's just take a look at the lay of the land first and talk about a couple things that I mentioned with the homeowners and see what you all think. So right away you can see that all this is sloping down into here. The sunroom is the low point. We also have this mulch covering, which you all know allows the water to go straight through it. And they had all kinds of drainage pipes put in and they're all corrugated. And so we'll take a look on the inside here in a sec. But take a look right here, the water that lands here, even though it's just rainwater, has no way to get out of here. And so, let me show you what's going on here. Look at this. So not only is the sunroom flooded, but we have water coming out along this, this joint between the foundation and the patio. And the homeowners are saying that this will just leak like this. It'll seep for days and days and days, like five days, he said. He said the landscapers installed a French drain here and then they covered it up with dirt. So that's not doing anything because in this area of North Carolina, we have clay, we have impermeable clay. So when you cover up, when you bury a French drain with impermeable surface on top, the water can't get into it. I see some water right there. And you think the water's coming through this wall here? Probably part, some of it is, yeah. Looks like that corner back there. Maybe. Yeah. And I see some mud over here too. On the wall right here maybe. Yeah. And there's that downspout is right outside. Yeah. So I think that one might be getting backed up. Mm -hmm. And then, like I was saying, if it, if it overflows into this mulch right here, that's got nowhere to go but down. Okay, yeah. So this whole room has been flooding. And you said the same thing's going on over here? Yeah, this came from here, and it looks like it's coming from here as well. Okay. Yeah. And so here, <clears throat> this, this, could definitely be hydrostatic pressure that's building up here and just kind of popping through wherever it's finding a crack. Yeah, that, I mean, that's really what it looks like because, I mean, it just keeps pushing up for five days. Okay. After the rain. Yeah. Constantly coming up. And then this is raised. Um, a little messy in here. But... So no problems in here? Not now. Um, okay. Not now. Okay. Yeah, so this, this looks like a pretty thick slab, no cracks in it. No. I, no, I guess it good. makes sense that it might be flowing over to here and popping up. So we think that this water is actually just flowing out of the sunroom. No, it's or coming, is it coming up through the crack? It comes up through this crack right here. Okay. Between the Same slab thing. of the house and the slab of the patio. Okay. Patio. okay. It's all really moist in there. Yeah. Is this an irrigation line? It is. Okay. And so a couple things. First of all, let's take a look at that gutter there, that downspout. 
so it goes back to the back. So here's my thing. Tell me what you all think. If you could take the water from the edge of the foundation through a downspout right here and kick it, look at that, that water's gone. Instead, they're taking it all the way back, all the way down and across the foundation. And now it's coming out. Plus they use the corrugated pipe. And so I told the, I asked the homeowner, run your garden hose in that pipe, see if it's clogged up, come out here during the rain, see if that thing is erupting water like we see all the time because that corrugated pipe may already be failed. The other thing I asked the homeowner to do is once all this seeping dries up, just throw your garden hose over here anywhere and just run it full blast and keep an eye on it. And I told him if, if the water starts seeping into the sunroom at that point, then we know that this is an area where water's getting in. And so, like I say all the time, for every drainage solution, we need to identify the problem water we need to get that water into a pipe, a quality PVC pipe. And then we need to be able to sit in our lawn chair during the rain and see that water flowing away. So at this point, we are in the investigation phase. I see a few weak points and we want to make sure that we get those, uh, get the water addressed and actually identified. Okay, the other thing I want to mention here is this whole area here is falling down to this gravel right here. And so what do you think we could put in that gravel to allow the water to escape? So what I'm, what I'm hypothesizing is happening is all this water is sitting in here, building up hydrostatic pressure and then popping out in the sunroom and between this joint right here. And so if we can put a French drain right here and give that water a, a, play, a way to escape out of here, I think that'll be the ticket. And then we can take it across. And they do have a really nice drainage basin here and there's the pipe that the landscape people put in and it's coming out right in there. And so the, the homeowners have said they're done with the landscape people. None of the stuff that they've tried to fix has worked and they don't want to mess with it anymore. Okay, the other thing I want to mention is a few more things here. Take a look at what's going on over here and get ready to cringe. So look at how beautiful this, this rock is. But look what we have going on. So the water that lands right in here has no way to get out except to go right in. And it, this also may be contributing. It may be following along the foundation here and building up that pressure. And so as much as I hate to say it, we need to blow this all out and have a continuous slope down instead of what it's doing now, which is going up and then down. So this is not going to work for very long. We have to get this sloping gradually, continuously away. And they also have a catch basin here. And this has got two four inch corrugated and it still is backing up, they're saying. So this is a little bit of a problem. It's got some buffering capacity where the, if it does back up, it could, it could rise a little bit and not cause any problems. So we've definitely got some issues going on here. I was talking with the homeowner a second ago about this issue. So we have a quarter of the house from there to there dumping into this downspout and then hoping it goes across and into this downspout. And so I told the homeowner, if we're going to move this downspout here to the edge, then we need to add a downspout from the top right there all the way down. And then we can catch it into a pipe and take it around. So I'm gonna be including adding a downspout there. And the idea is, like I've said many times, keeping the water in a pipe. So keep the water in a single downspout instead of here, it's in a downspout and then it's in the gutter and then we're hoping it gets back into a downspout. So keep the water that's in a pipe, in a pipe. Okay, let's take a look at the other side of the house here. and see what we have going on. So we have more water over here and we have another bed of nuggets here. And the problem they have is the, the driveway is sloping into the bed and we also have nuggets here which are gonna hold the water. And so what I think is happening is the water 
is simply just, just flowing down here and then running into the driveway here and popping up. And so the water is just running along here and then it eventually pops up over here and then just runs along here until it finally makes its way across. So we have another pipe here and the homeowner said that it comes across somewhere in here and then goes across. So what I would like to do here is I would like to dig this out, dig it out as a two foot trench and put in a French drain with our perforated pipe, keep this gutter in a solid pipe and going in. And then we would top it with our drainage rock and then we would dress that with the river rock that matches the rock they have there and that rock there. And so I'm proposing that we do a French drain across here and give this water a place, a way to get out of this bed. All right, so let me, let me know what you all think about this one. This is definitely a challenge here, but the homeowners have, I guess the sunroom has flooded several times and they're ready to be done with that and get this working correctly. But look at this beautiful, beautiful work here. It's just not quite right. I wanted to show you a little bit more of the lay of the land. So you see we have quite a bit of area that's draining to this area. And the street also is up there. Now it looks like the street has its own catch basin and he said there's a city culvert right there. And so it looks like we're just pretty much catching, oh there's that culvert there. Looks like we're just pretty much catching just the land right here, which is all going over there. So we'll we'll work on getting this fixed for him this was definitely an unfortunate situation the homeowners just had all that landscaping done and all those beds are perfect all the materials are, are the finishes are all perfect everything's good but the drainage was not done correctly and the landscape company used corrugated pipe instead of pvc pipe so it's not flowing well and so Apparently the sunroom has flooded several times and the homeowners are, are pretty much ready to get that problem solved. And so what we're working on right now and the homeowners doing this is we really need to identify that problem water. So I went out there, I talked about a bunch of, of concerning things that I saw, but we really need to figure out and reproduce. We really need to reproduce that problem water. So as soon as that seeping stops, the homeowner is going to run the garden hose over there between the pond and the sunroom. If As soon as he gets flooding in the sunroom, then we, we will know that that's the area. If he runs that garden hose and nothing happens, then we know that there's a different area. And there's a possibility that the water's coming in from the front of the house. There's a pretty good slope from the front to the back, and there's also those pine nugget beds in the front, and the water doesn't really have a place to get out. But you would be talking about that front water going all the way under the house, Un, all the way under into the house under the house and popping up in the sunroom and so that's that's kind of a long shot so i think the water's coming from those areas between the pond and the sunroom the, the homeowner is also going to put some temporary above ground pipe on the gutters to get that that underground corrugated out of the equation and so those those couple of things could help to identify where that problem water is coming from once we identify where the problem water is coming from, then we can actually address it. And so it's really, really important when you're doing a drainage solution to actually identify the problem water. I'm not just going to go over there and say, oh, we'll do this and we'll do that and it'll be good to go. I need to make sure we're getting the right water and the right solutions over there. And so this is definitely a frustrating situation because we're going to be over there digging all that, all those bushes, all those beds up. And it's just, it's, it's heartbreaking to think that all that landscape work is, has to be undone and then redone. And so a lot of, I see this a lot where landscapers just, they, they put drainage toward the back on the priorities list and it just turns into a, a disaster like we have here. For example, that catch basin, I would never put a catch basin there and, and hope that it catches all that water. Instead, I would grade the land to where the land is actually the drain is is shooting the water the reason is because you don't know how much water is coming from up there and the more water you load onto that catch basin the harder it is for the water to flow out of there 
and the, the better chance it has of backing up. And the homeowner said that they added another four inch corrugated pipe and it's still backing up. And so, whereas if you, if you grade it, the more water that comes through there, the faster it's going to flow away. So just things like that are, are really, really important when you're doing a, a big landscape plan like this and drainage should be at the very top of your priorities, but oftentimes it's not. And so once the homeowner and I can figure out where this problem water is coming from, then we should be able to get an action plan and formulate a solution for this. And so hopefully there'll be another installment on this project and we might even get the job on this one, but I will go ahead and end this assessment video here. And as always, let me know what you all think about this assessment and thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this assessment video and if you would like to support the channel you know what to do here. You can also become a member, you can give me a super thanks, you can buy me a coffee, you can become a Patreon and the links are in the description. So thanks again for watching and I will see you on the next one.